Hi guys, it's Toasty Gaming, and today I'm going to teach you how to find and install mods for Mountain Blade Bannerlord. There's hundreds of different mods to pick from, with new ones being created every day, and adding them to your playthroughs can make them a lot more enjoyable and help you get more hours out of the game. If you're looking to mod your playthroughs, one of the first things you're going to have to do is install either WinRAR or 7-Zip. The mods you download will come compressed, and you'll have to decompress them in order to add them to your games. After you've installed your file manager, you'll need to decide where to download your mods from. Personally, I use Nexus Mods. This is a safe platform that hosts mods for hundreds of different games, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can get right to their page for Bannerlord. Once you've landed on the Bannerlord's mods page, you'll be able to search and filter through hundreds of different mods that people have made for the game. They have different categories such as popular within the last 30 days, all time, trending mods, as well as the most recent posts. There's hundreds of different mods to pick from here, so feel free to scroll through and take a long look until you find something that you really like. Once you've found a mod that piques your interest, scroll down and take a look to see if there's any requirements or notes left for you by the modder. Some mods require other mods to be installed in order to run properly. If we take a look at this Bannerlord's Tweaks mod here, we can see that it requires modlib in order to run, and if you only install this mod, it won't work properly. Once you've checked to make sure that you fulfill the requirements, it's time to download the mod. If you scroll down and click on the Files tab here, you can see that we have two different download options, Manual and Mod Manager. I suggest using Manual because the Mod Manager is not necessary as installing the mods is very simple and easy. Click the Manual Download and we're going to go with Slow Download. It's going to be quick and easy and will require you to have an account with this website, but it's free and only is going to require you to just add in your email, maybe just a few pieces of information. So as you can see here, the mod is already downloaded. And if we click it, click on it, it'll automatically open it up in WinRAR. We can see our mod right here. Now that you've downloaded your mod, it's time to figure out what folder to place it in so that you can use it within your campaigns. So I want you guys to go to your file explorer, this PC, go to your C drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and then go into modules. Now that you have this modules folder open, pull up your WinRAR and drag your mod right into this folder. A nice tip that I suggest you use is going back, right clicking the modules folder and pinning it to your quick access. That will cause it to be pinned right here on the side so you won't have to go through all those steps the next time you want to download a mod. You can just click here and drag it right in. Now that you've added the mod to your modules folder, it's time to open up the Bannerlord launcher and select the mod to activate it. From this screen here, you just want to go right down to mods and check this box in order to activate your mod. And then you can go to play. Now that the game is loaded up, Let's open up one of my campaigns and check if the mod downloaded properly. If you try to open up a module on one of your old saves, you could get this message. This might not work with some mods, but other mods you're able to add them mid playthrough, especially if they're more simple and not quite as game changing. Now that we're in game, let's take a look and see if the mod is working. The mod I chose adds a console command, which allows you to respec your perks. So let's take a look if it's working. I enter the console command. Let's 
let's close out the character tab and reopen. And we can see it reset all my perks. The mod is indeed working. That wraps things up for my quick video on how to install mods in Bannerlord. If you're having any problems, be sure to check out the mod page and see if there's any readme files or if there's any information that the, the developer of the mod left for you. They tend to leave some information such as the known issues and possibly how to fix them. Another thing you should check is if you're running your mod in the right patch. Certain mods will still work if you've updated the game as I just showed. I ran this mod in the 1.7 patch. However, if you try to update your game, many times it will break a lot of the mods you're running. And it'll have to either stay on the older update or play without your mods. If you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribed for more Bandalord content.